Now we're going to look at some geometry problems, so a little review of maybe some geometry we've seen in the past. Um, our first example says the area of a triangular window, I'm sorry, a triangular church window is 90 square meters. So right away I'm going to draw a triangle. I don't know exactly what the window looks like, but I know it's a triangular shape. Um, and it tells me the area, and A is for area, is 90. Now, when we say square meters, you can write it this way, or you can write it meters squared like that. That's just the unit of measure. Area is measured in a square um, measurement. So you're measuring your floor at square feet or square inches or whatever, but that's area. Okay, um, we're going to need then the formula for the area of a triangle. And the formula for the area of a triangle a equals one half times the base times the height. So B is for base and H is for height. Now we actually saw that formula on the last video. Okay, so it tells us the base is 15, that's this distance here, and 15 meters it should be. And then the height, the height is the, actually from that, um, the point, uh, the, uh, the angle, uh, for across from the base. If you draw a perpendicular, we call it, so that that's a right angle, and you draw that straight down, that's the height. Okay, and they are asking us what is the height's window. So in this case, we know A, we know B, we know the base is 15. Now 15, we're talking about the length of this base here. That's a linear measurement, so it's just in meters. And H will also be a linear measurement in uh, meters. Okay, so now we can put in the information we know. 90 equals 1 half times the base times the height. Now, yeah, okay, that looks good. Um, you can do this in two steps. You can multiply by 2 first uh, and then divide by 15. Or you could write it this way. This is the way I'm going to look at it. 15 over 2, and now I want to solve for uh, the height, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 15 halves, which is 2 over 15. I don't know that we've done a lot of those problems, so I'll write it like that. That way my 2's cancel and my 15's cancel, and so I'm going to get the height. Now, I can put the 90 over 1 if you like. Uh, 15 is going to go into 90, oh, how many times? 6? And then I have 2 times 6, which is 12. So the height is 12 meters. So we want to put a unit of measure so we know it's not feet. This time it's meters. Okay, so that was a little bit of a triangle thing. So um, some information. When you have a triangle, and it doesn't matter what kind of triangle it is, the three angles, so if you have angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3, those three angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So angles can be measured in degrees. So we can say something like angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 has to equal 180 degrees. So we use that piece of information sometimes when we're trying to find the measurement of an angle in a triangle. And this little symbol here, that little symbol, says the measurement of the angle. Mm -hmm. So it's talking about angle one. All right, um, right triangles. A right triangle is a special triangle. And it has one angle that's 90 degrees. And we usually put a little box to indicate that that's the right angle, <laughs> called a right angle. The right triangle has a right angle in it. It's one of the three angles. And a right angle is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so that's information, a little bit of information about triangles. So example six. The measure of one angle in a right triangle is 50 more than the measure of the smallest angle. Find the measures of all three angles. So it says it's a right triangle, so I'm just going to draw a triangle. I can draw it this way or I can draw it the way I drew the other one, but one of them's 90 degrees because it's a right triangle. So which one looks littler? <laughs> I'll call this 
the small angle here. And I'll call this one the larger angle. It doesn't really matter which one's which, but you know, you, in this case, it talks about a small um, angle, so the smallest angle. So I kind of want to say which one's which. Okay, so we know one angle is 90 degrees, and it says one uh, the measure of one angle in a right triangle is 50 more than the measure of the smallest. So let's say I make it x for the smallest, then the large one is going to be x plus 50 because it's 50 more than the smallest one. So that takes a little bit of thinking. You kind of have to read the problem a couple times and work it out in your mind, draw a picture if that helps. Usually if I see something that says triangle, I'm gonna draw a triangle because that helps me get my bearings. Now I know that this angle is the right angle and that's 90 degrees, so, okay. I know that if I add up all three, they're gonna equal 180. So the small one plus the large one plus the 50, or I'm sorry, plus the 90 degree angle, all that has to add up to 180. And then that's an equation I can solve. So the parentheses, I'm just distributing one so I don't need the parentheses. I can simplify on the left, 2x, x plus x is 2x, plus it looks like 140 equals 180. And I'm going to subtract 140. This is a nice equation to solve. Practice this. And I get 2x equals 40. And then I'm going to divide by 2. And so I get... See, they want us to find the measure of all three angles. So I want to I'm going to have to answer... Oops. I hate it when it does that. I'm going to have to answer the question at the end. <laughs> x equals 20. But really 20 degrees, right? Because all of these are going to be degree measurements. So the angles measure um, 20 degrees. Now, how do I get that large angle? That was the small angle is 20 degrees. Well, remember the large angle is 50 more, so it's going to be 70 degrees. 20 plus, and you could go up here and you could write 20 plus 50. You're putting in the value for x that you just figured out. And the third angle is 90 degrees because it was the right angle. Okay, that's the answer. A little bit of geometry.